Right, um, welcome back. Sorry I haven't made any videos for a while, just been very busy. But I thought I'd make this quick video um, on buying used 500s and I think really engine issues and lack of servicing um, and things that to, to look out for really. Now I had this 500 delivered to me um, to do some other things to recommission. It's been off the road for a year and when it came it didn't run. Um, I was told it never really ran that well and only ran on choke. So we did some bits and pieces to it, got it running, um, but it never idled very well. It was very, very lumpy on idle, although it revved okay. Um, so I did a compression test on it, and I'll show you the results of the compression test. If, as you can see, one is showing 100 and one is showing 125. Now there should be a minimum of about 10%. Uh, I, I personally would say between the two cylinders and we're looking at 25% here um, which obviously isn't right now very deceptively you can actually um, put uh, oil down the bores and we do the compression test and that normally will give you an idea whether it's rings or whether it's valves um, if the compression goes up then it's a sign that it's it's rings or worn bores now in this instance it didn't actually make any difference at all um, so anyway, I took the head off and what I found was this. So if we just take you out to the car here, I just swivel this around so I can see what I'm doing. So if we have a look, if we just turn the engine around a little bit to pop the pistons up, out there a shell, I think you can see or maybe you can't but I'll show you in the picture the bottom of this piston right down there on the bottom of the expansion port is cracked as well as the whole piston itself it's actually got a big big crack in it I don't know whether you can see there's the bottom you can see the crack at the bottom and there's cracking also at the top um, which I will show you in a photograph this other one's the same but just not as bad also when I took it out the inevitable the rings obviously fell off the um, the rings fell completely out so the rings are broken and the uh, pistons broken now let me just show you the barrel as well just to give you an idea these are the two barrels and the bad barrel which I shall locate which I believe is not that one might be this one where are you where are you oh here you go right if I can get it to focus, focus, there you go. You can see that scoring all the way up and down that barrel. And that's the barrel from the bad piston. The head actually wasn't too bad, but again, it needs to have a decoke and it needs to be cleaned. Um, generally, they are in that state. Um, a lot of the times you find that the valves will leak if they haven't got um, unleaded seats in. Um, without any sort of additive um, Anyway, generally the reason for The scoring like that and the broken rings and obviously on the pistons which I will insert some pictures as well um, Is overheating which can be due to several things either Cooling so sometimes the fins get blocked up around the barrels on this case That's not the case because it's actually quite clean inside um, the other thing is oil starvation. Now, when I took the um, when I took the uh, when I when I took the engine out to do a couple of other bits, also I did the service on it, changed the plugs, points, etc. A big thing that people are missing out with these cars is the front of the pulley is an oil slinger. Okay, this is cleaning your oil. Okay, in a roundabout sort of fashion, it basically takes your oil, slings it. All the particles and metal particles will stick to the edge of the slinger and the rest of the clean oil will carry on recirculating back around the engine. Now what a lot of people do is they change the oil on these engines, there's no oil filter at all, just the slinger and they don't touch the slinger. So after years and years and years and years what happens is the slinger gets built up a crud, um, which this one was full of crud, um, like it's like a uh, how can I explain it? It's like metal. It's like metal paste, um, and this one actually was so caked it was almost blocked, which does two things: a) it will disturb your oil pressure, 
so you won't be getting sufficient ore pressure. So the squirt is on the side of the comrades because the comrades have got little tiny holes in which squirt oil up to the top of the piston and also they make sure the bore is, is got oil in. Um, so they won't have enough pressure and also you'll be circulating all the rubbish that's caught in those in that slinger around the engine because they're only efficient to a certain degree. They should be cleaned out every single time you change the oil and you'll find it's a big thick cake of crap in there. Um, and that's one that's basically two of the reasons that it's most likely failed being that it's an air cooled engine so it relies on a the fan and the cooling and the fins to be cleaned around the barrels but also it relies on oil as well um, anyway I'll keep you updated on that we can have a carburetor rebuild soon um, and yeah just thought I would uh, share that with you so next time you change your oil on your on your 500 just take your slinger off the front which I will show you where it is again just in case no one knows but I'm sure you do which is right here on this engine as you can see there it is on the front of the pulley you've got 10 mil nuts on there there you go see, you see the 10 mil nuts and the front comes off let me just turn me around again and the front comes off and um, then you can just clean all the crap out of there bit of brake cleaner um, both the cover and the actual pulley itself you will find there's crap in both so just next time you do an oil change check that clean it out otherwise you will get engine failure as I've just shown you till next time see you